Hello, welcome back to the great Midwest tour where this summer I try to visit as many American cities around the Midwest as I can. Last time we were in St. Louis and this time we were spending the weekend in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, home of cheese and beer. Neither of which I really enjoy, but I'm sure we'll find something. Right now I am downtown next to the public market, which actually looks a lot like Seattle public market. And this whole neighborhood is called the Historic Third Ward. It is one of the oldest city centers and it has been revitalized over and over into an urban riverfront area. here than I did like in my entire two days at St. Louis. Just feels like such an active city. There's like people kayaking and there's like people playing pickleball and it feels like all the locals are just like eating at the public market. It's like so bustling. see that's Lake Michigan and it curves in and into this little cove here where um, a lot of the kayaks and boats are coming out and then it goes under that bridge that we just went and all the way around this huge park with the bird sculptures so this whole park is like a peninsula and then obviously you can see the beautiful skyline Know, exercise on roller blades, bikes, four person car things, lots of people walking their dogs, there's like people on the river, there's so much going on. taking wedding photos. Found the rest of the wedding party. Oh my god, what is happening over there? Oh, 
Oh my goodness, another wedding party. <laughs> it was gonna be really hot especially because there's like no shade here but there's such like a nice breeze I think I would come here all the time if I lived in the area hi can I get a mini flight in a dish yeah, uh, can I get that blueberry buttermilk whiskey brandy and purple moon So I went to the Vincent Van Gogh immersive experience, which is kind of like an exhibit that they have in a whole bunch of cities from like New York to San Francisco. And in the first room, they had these panels with quotes and kind of explaining like Van Gogh's life. So you'd snake around. And then in the second room was the immersive part. They would project his paintings onto the walls and there was it was on a loop play kind of like an instrumental music i'm gonna be honest i don't think it was good i think everyone there got scammed 50 dollars uh, maybe for like 15 dollars it would be okay but like i didn't learn anything and i don't think the paintings looked that great on the screen like even starry night didn't look very good maybe because there was just like too many people yeah, so I didn't really like it, but we won't knock Milwaukee for that because that's not their fault. So now I'm just going to eat some food. look at cheese though and our this is like really neat but I don't know that's pretty cool. I wish I could have gotten some cheese curds but I was just like so full. Now I'm on the river walk which is so cute. I think it's cuter than Chicago's for sure and there's all these party boats in the water which in Chicago I didn't really see any. Maybe they do but the vibe is immaculate. Every time they go under a bridge and the bridge has to like open up for them, they cheer, and it's so funny. Super Spy, just kidding, it says International Exports and it's in like a random alley. So let's try. You know the password? No. Nope. Okay, you got pass the test, you ready? Mm-hmm. Every person is part of our club is just like you. They're really cool and they're really awesome and they know how to catch a bomb. You're no different, you gotta catch every bomb I throw at you, you ready? Okay. First bomb. Go, second bomb, go, third bomb, go, fourth bomb, go. The test, you're part of our club.
bunch of clues on them. For example, one says, find the safe near the Russian border and look to your left. Open the men's door. Oh no, there's been a theft. I only ended up doing about half of them just because it was so awkward for me to be there by myself. But anyway, see you tomorrow. Good morning. My feet have miraculously recovered and today we are wandering outside of the historic third ward and we're starting off with the domes. There are three domes. I think it's rainforest, desert, and then some sort of special show that they change every couple years. So let's go to it. The show dome ended up being themed around Milwaukee's parks which was okay, but there were some pretty cool plants that I got to see that I've never seen before. The rainforest dome was also pretty cool. I know I just went to one in St. Louis, but again, there's like different plants every time. My favorite was the golden shrimp plant and also the sausage fruit tree, <laughs> pretty unique. And then my favorite dome, obviously, is the desert dome. I just love the plants in deserts. I've been to Arizona and I've been to desert themed conservatories, but every time it's like, these plants are so cool and so unique, like the dogtail cactus. It's so fuzzy, I kind of just want to touch it, but probably not. And then the purple cactus and you know, just all the different cactuses were so cool. which made me really nervous because the art museum wings open exactly at 12. You'll see what I mean. Um, but it gave me enough time to find a random post mailbox and send out my postcard. The food was absolutely excellent, so. Normally the wings of the art museum open at 10 and then they close and reopen at 12, but I didn't see that they were open at all today and yesterday when I was walking past. So I think something's going on. A um, bunch of people were there and we were all disappointed to not see that. It would have been really cool too, but this is kind of what it would have looked like. Inside the museum was very uh, pristine, white, beautiful. It reminded me a lot of the New York Oculus, the World Trade Center and you could see the lake and it was, you know, so beautiful. Now, my favorite part of the museum was the special exhibit of the quilt of Pauline Parker. I think I spent like so long in that exhibit like so many people were just coming in and out and I just sat there for so long I was so inspired by her quilts so her story is that she was an artist she retired and moved to rural Wisconsin with her family and she began making these quilts and she started with very basic quilts you know like the square normal shapes but she would incorporate interesting materials like a bacon bag Slowly over time, she started to develop a more image-based composition, for example, like an apple tree or birds. I personally love them. I think they're so cool and such a great expression of art. She would do really intricate stitching, kind of as line work, and she would use buttons and different materials to convey textures. She even poked fabric through other circles of fabric to make flowers.
And then she would also leave some of the edges unstitched and frayed also to give it texture. Like on this tree, she wanted it to look like birch. I just was so inspired and her work was absolutely incredible. There were so many quilts. I want to make a quilt now. I was like sitting in the exhibit looking up how to make a quilt, but they give you, they only show you like really basic stuff. So I'll have to figure out and learn more about how she did all her quilts. It's absolutely incredible. I am so glad I went. I, I love the quilts. <laughs> So all along this coastline of Lake Michigan, there's a ton of beaches, piers, ports, parks. So I'm just trying to hit up as many as I can. So that's sort of fun. You can walk out on there. You might want to do that with your friends, walk out on the breakwater walk. It's a, it's a nice walk. Sometimes people are fishing out there, and, you know, skateboarding, things like that. But, okay, um, yeah, I'll look that up. But there's some nice views so you can see you know, the lake that way, and then you look back, you've got the whole city. That's nice. So anyway, those are some ideas. Nice to meet you. Thank you. All the way out from there, all the way here on my lime scoop. And here's kind of like past the breaker point. This is like the actual Lake Michigan. And you can see on this side we have all the calm water. probably tell by now that I love Milwaukee. I think it's a highly underrated city. I could honestly move here. Granted, I don't know what it's like in the winters, but from the public market to the river walk to the whole lakeside area, it's an incredible city. Quite frankly, more people need to be talking about Milwaukee. Anyways, I will see you on the next leg of my great Midwest tour. Bye.